feel that there's really um, it's, it's really no soon time or, or no time uh, too soon for students to start thinking about um, a career or uh, what they want to do after they get out of high school. By no means do we feel like a high school uh, sophomore, junior, or senior are going to know exactly what they want to do with the rest of their life. The more opportunities we give our students, uh, the better prepared they are to go out and meet the challenges. If we're graduating students, that our businesses and industries don't need here, then we aren't doing what our mission states we're supposed to do. As a school district, we had been hearing from business leaders that there was a workforce shortage and that they really wanted us to focus more on career education. So when we did our strategic planning five years ago, we really listened to them and the community members that were involved in that process, and we created an entire goal around the concept of building career academies. Make sure she's all good. I want the wheels. I want the wheels. I, the wheels. <laughs> oh, I love teaching the kids. It's so much fun. They have a great time. I, I really enjoy just being able to pass on my knowledge and see these kids grow and see what they become if they continue on in, in nursing or become doctors. I just like to see, you know, their progression. Now with the Med-Aid class, I, the, the students can take CNA first semester, they can take Med-Aid second semester, and then they have two college classes in the health field under their belt. You're not bored because you're actually doing things that you want to do. So, yeah, it's not like an everyday class, it's just stuff that we actually get to do that's going to be actually useful. Yeah. Being able to have high school students be exposed to different career opportunities and career pathways while they're still in high school does one of two things. Uh, the first one, and a very positive one, is students find out, yep, this is really something I love, something I'm really, really interested in, and they can continue past high school into that same career interest. Uh, on the flip side, the second option that it provides for kids is they may think they really, really like something or are very interested in a career and get involved in some of our Career Academy classes and find out that, uh, uh, nah, this really isn't for me. It's really tough to talk with someone that's, you know, 14 to 18 and say, you know, what do you want to do for the rest of your life as a career? I didn't even really settle on mine until I was 35. It's just important to find out what you don't want to do as it is to find out what you do want to do. For me, it's an opportunity to just kind of let off some steam with some of the situations that goes on in my life. And honestly, it's just fun to just see what you can make out of a couple pieces of metal. You can see the kids' minds just turning, creativities rolling strong through them to see what they can make out of all the, all the new uh, equipment or toys that they got, the materials that they got. We know high school students have a wide um, variety of interests, and so we wanted to make sure that we had as many academies um, available for students and their interests as we could. I don't really like architectural drafting, I like mechanical drafting. Um, and so Nucor does a lot more structural drafting and stuff like that versus Norfolk Iron Metal, which does a lot more mechanical drafting. So it was really nice to kind of differentiate between the two and understand the differences that the two different companies do. The goal and the idea is to keep our great students here in Norfolk and doing things that our community really, really needs. We acquired a drone this year and what we want to do with the drone is to do some topographical maps. Well, we have some software that we can actually take hundreds of pictures in, we send it up to the, the cloud and the cloud will take and condense that or stitch it together and remake a picture and we can take that picture, edit it, make it into a real solid object and then we can take that solid object and actually make either make a 3D print of it or we can make a 3D map out of it. But we actually took photographs of a student, we took it through the same software and then at the end of that software we actually took it into our 3D printer and printed the heads.
We had opportunities to collaborate with community members, business leaders, parents, students, teachers, uh, all of those different uh, people to get these things started. We raised almost $1.4 million from community members um, to put an addition onto the high school, um, purchase brand new equipment, and to start a $200,000 endowment so that our equipment never gets that outdated again. Had to put them uh, to work on a lot of this stuff. They got to read their blueprints. They got to understand the plans that we draw down. So they're pretty much in charge. I oversee everything, but it's pretty much their building. You have to be certified again. The other claims on there passed your A's. You have, can't claim that. I think it's an excellent way for them to explore. And I think the college provides that next step for them to help them narrow that. And this isn't the end of the road for some of those students either. You know, some of those students are going to go on to four-year school. Some of them are going to go on to graduate schools. What a wonderful way for a student to learn something about a profession and to learn about it while they're in high school. We want to be able to provide opportunities for our students to do some career exploration in areas that they have an interest in or they have a passion in. We really want to create uh, basically cohorts of students going through uh, not only their career-based classes but also their core classes because when you have kids that share similar interests in the classes um, just provides some unique learning opportunities for them. Once they get accepted into the Career Academy program then we put together the program of study, the actual curriculum. And as they're moving through the Career Academies they, um, we offer the work-based learning opportunities. Because there's a lot of tilting on the two blazer head that you right. have to do. Besides having courses that are specifically tailored to um, the career of their choice, they also have the opportunity to um, have guest speakers come in and to go out and do internships and job shadowing. It's a great opportunity for our students to get real hands-on experience by doing an internship and actually applying skills that they've learned in their classes. Working with our community are, um, is vital to uh, st students really learning if that's something that they really want to do. So the whole concept of Career Academies is that we prepare kids to go on to college if that's what they want or to go directly into the career of their choice right here in North Fork, Nebraska. We can know that this is a column and then the size would be a 16 by 50. It doesn't take them long to fill that in, isn't that? Uh, see? We have to build it ourselves here in North Fork, and, and this is one step of that, but having teachers and employers who are, who are really focused on getting together and doing it as a team. We get to have some say in what they're learning. So being in the classroom, we get to say, this is the software, this is the lessons, these are the soft skills, these are the things we want our future employees to know and have. They can say, hey, if you come to work for me, this is what I'm going to expect to be and I'm going to expect you to be there on time. I'm going to expect you to look right. I'm also going to expect that when you're going through school, you're getting good grades and that your attendance is good. And so there's a whole lot of things that come together. Over time, we will continue to work with business leaders to see if those 12 are the 12 that we need, or if we need to add or we need to change some things up. We're going to be in constant communication with those advisory boards so we make sure we stay current on what our community needs. I like this class best because it's all hands-on and you get a you get to work with everybody that likes the same thing as you. Kerr Academies reach out to a broad variety of students with the uh, the breadth of academies we have and people can, can be an academy whether they're interested in business or in the metals, construction, healthcare, uh, entertainment, hospitality. There's really, really unlimited places where kids can get involved in academies. They get information earlier on in their lives so they can make better decisions on which career paths they want to make. The Career Academies help provide a, uh, uh, a hopefully a future workforce. We can learn about those students and we can help direct them in a the career path, I think it's great for Norfolk. Twelve uh, career academies already created in, in key areas 
that's just going to continue to make our community stronger. The building is there, the teachers are there, the curriculum is there. We need to keep getting the word out to the parents about the great things that we have going on. The career academies in general are a prime example of uh, the high school working within our vision, Norfolk Public Schools vision of creating outstanding learning opportunities for kids. We have to make sure that those fundamental building blocks are there for those students because that's what they build on. If they don't have that, they can't build up and that's what we want. I just think Norfolk did this right. I think Norfolk Public Schools did it right from the beginning. Not only did they raise the money they needed to build this, they've got the endowment fund to keep it going. They have the right people in place. They picked the right programs to start with. It's exciting for Norfolk. I can't wait to see where they go with it.